Hi, I'm Margaret Martin from Your Little Guide. And several years ago at the Vancouver World Physical Therapy Conference, I was approached by a physical therapist who was really excitedly telling me about Nordic polling. And um, she had started introducing the Nordic walking and the urban poles to clients of hers in the Vancouver area. And she just thought these, this was the greatest thing. And so several years went by and I decided to take the urban polling instructor course and I'm here now to share with you my excitement about the polls and why you should be taking the course and introducing the polls to your clients. So a couple of really key things with the urban polls and much to my surprise my clients are taking to it much uh, more than I anticipated but with my client base and a lot of you know that uh, one of the areas that I like to work in is osteoporosis. One of the big concerns with clients with osteoporosis is a fall that would cause or lead to a fracture and so always having that extra point of contact with the ground just gives people a lot more peace of mind, gives me a lot more peace of mind when I'm encouraging a client who might not have um, you know, the balance that I'm, I'm you know, looking for to you know, put them on a brisk walking program. Or if they have co-factors such as you know, they have you know, some knee arthritis or hip arthritis and we know we need to load you know, hard for, for bone uh, benefit but sometimes the joints um, don't let us load as much as we'd like so the poles really allow us to to take the walking to another level in that it integrates the upper body and the lower body work and that that um, symmetrical um, working that happens you know with the right arm and the left leg and it's it's really wonderful to see it all come together and allow the client to move to the next level of fitness. The urban poles for clients that are less mobile have a feature that we can you know, backtrack them and, and use activator poles and first introduce somebody to an activator pole that might be more uh, household bound and allow them to gain stability and motivation and um, function in their gait before you know, uh, we can take them into community walking with uh, the use of the urban poles. And so there's a nice step transition that we can do from the activated pole to the urban pole. The urban pole allows uh, individuals who might need some sort of assistive device but who are resistant to an assistive device to have um, the support that they need without feeling that they've taken a step back. A lot of my clients, when I first uh, introduced the concept of a cane or a uh, a loft strand crutch, um, you know, it's, it's a very hard concept for them and I've brought a few tears to, to eyes, you know, in making suggestions that I know are right for them at the time. But whenever I bring up the poles, even to 85 year olds, they're like, oh yeah, I've seen those, you know, used in fitness. And so there's no hesitation or um, feeling of a step back, you know, or looking, you know, more disabled by using the poles. And so it's a really nice way to introduce the concept of extra support with your clients. I think physical therapists are really well aligned and uh, other allied health professionals who have the training in the background to introduce polls to the clients. And so there are you know, a lot of people out there that can really benefit from the introduction of urban polls and they don't have to be using them all the time, but certainly to increase their heart rate, to get more muscle work out of their weekly walking routine, the urban poles are a great addition.